Right, so in this video we're looking at interference of light in a bit more detail than at level 2, we're looking at a level 3. So this is the New Zealand system, NCA. Um, level 3, it's likely to be um, quite a long video, so I will break it up into parts. Um, but it's important that you have the continuity of all this stuff together, so I'll set them in a playlist too. For the, to start with though, we want to do a quick recap of level 2 and interference. Typically we're talking about um, two point source interference, so we have um, two points where, which are the source of wave, waves and we represent the, um, the the waves just by as wave fronts as curves, I won't go into that and I'm going to consider them propagating out roughly in this direction okay so here is um, one set of wave fronts very roughly drawn here's another set uh, of the same wavelength and you can see that they are crossing over and I haven't drawn it perfectly, but we're just recapping, so it doesn't matter. Um, where they each, where they cross over, um, you're going to have constructive interference, and you'll have lines of constructive interference. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, for instance, from the center point, from where our two sources are, source one and source two, equal distance apart. If this was drawn to scale, it would be a little bit nicer. But they, um, you have a line of uh, constructive. I should have taken more care with my drawing, but when you rush for time, that's just how you do it. You can go back and check the videos, double check by looking with your books, and if I ever um, get enough money to take a year off and make all these videos professionally, then you'll get them a little bit nicer. But anyway, uh, in my spare time, constructive interference, um, and then there's also the points where you have um, the uh, a crest, which is the the represented by the solid line, the wave front, um, uh, crossing over a trough, which would be halfway in between. Okay, so I'm sort of trying to draw dotted lines, not working out too well, and that would be a uh, position there. And so the the waves add to be destructive because you've got a trough and a crest meeting, um, and you would find a line of those as well. Um, let's see if there's a, there's a nice one just through the middle here. Okay, so and and they'll alternate from constructive, destructive, constructive, destructive, and we call the constructive lines. Um, they are antinodes, and the destructive lines are nodes. A node is a fixed point, um, so that that helps your thinking. If you think of a guitar string, a node is the end where um, it doesn't move, the string doesn't vibrate, it's fixed there, the place where you push down the fret with your finger or the place where the string is actually attached, so it doesn't move, that's a node. Um, anyway, um, so that's a quick... In level 2 you don't get a lot of emphasis on path difference. Oh wait, before we even look at that, this is, I've, I've kind of assumed um, water waves here, but if we had light waves, so we had a source of light um, at, at our two source locations, um, could be um, a, a red lamp or uh, maybe a sodium lamp, a sort of orangey lamp, and um, we have them both coming out. Um, has to be monochromatic. It has to be exactly the, the same colour, because otherwise you're not going to get consistent interference patterns uh, from a consistent wavelength, because if it's one colour, it will be of one wavelength. And what you would have on the screen, you will have a series of um, your alternating constructive and and destructive interference, um, like so. It'll be more continuous than this, I've just represented them with lines roughly in the middle. But um, So let's see if I demonstrate that continuous aspect just a little bit. Okay, and then with the center being uh, the strongest, obviously. Um, and how you would actually see this is in a series of bright and dark fringes if you're looking at visible light. If it was, it was audio, like uh, sound waves, um, played at a single tone, single frequency, um, you would hear as you walked down that that path, you would go, it would go louder and softer, louder and softer. Okay. Remember, you can't use the word noisier, because noise is like white noise. Noise is interference uh, from an outside point of view, not talking, well, yeah, okay. Um, so just be careful with that, that's a mistake I've frequently made in the past and sometimes still do, uh, less so now that I'm aware of it, so now you're aware of it, hopefully you'll make that less. 
anyway, that's that's the recap. That's about five minutes. Um, now is a convenient time, and this is just a mark for myself to tell me to change the video.